Good day everyone, I'm your Mr. ATL and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to discuss some problems about the Fibonacci sequence. So ano nga ba ang Fibonacci sequence? It is the sequence 1, 1, 2, 3, where the next term is obtained by adding two preceding terms. So ibig sabihin daw niyan, ang Fibonacci sequence, ito yung sequence na 1, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Tapos, so ito yun, no? So, para raw makuha yung next term natin, kailangan raw nating i-add yung two preceding terms. So, sa sequence na to, ang preceding terms na dalawa ay 3 and 2. So, we will just add. Sabi kasi by adding. So, 2 plus 3, that is 5. So, for the next term, we will add the two preceding terms again. The 5 plus 3, that is 8. And then, 5 plus 8, 13. 13 plus 8, 21. And so on. Ayun, lalagyan lang natin siya ng ellipses. So, meron silang sinabing Fibonacci Day na kung saan ito raw ay November 23. Bakit siya November 23? Since ang November corresponds to 11 and 23 is still 23, Yung 1, 1, 2, 3, ito kasi yung first four terms ng ating Fibonacci sequence. Okay? So, saan ang galing ang Fibonacci sequence? So, this sequence of numbers is created by Leonardo Pisano Boholio in 1202. So, kung imaminus natin ang year ngayon na 2020 minus 1202, that is 812. So, meaning to say 812 years ago na ang pag-create ng sequence na Fibonacci sequence. So, ito ang Fibonacci boy. Ito yung kanyang real name. So, sa mga nababasa ko, ang, ang Fibonacci sequence daw ay na-develop ng mga Indians. So, let's have a problem. The first four terms of the Fibonacci sequence are 1, 1, 2, 3. What is the 12th term? So, ganun ang gagawin natin. So, this is 1, 1, 2, 3. Nakakaapat na tayo, no? So, itutuloy lang natin yung sequence until we reach the 12th term. So, 5 plus 3 is, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, 5 plus 8 is 13, 8 plus 13 is 21, 13 plus 21 is 34, 34 plus 21 is 55. 55 plus 34 is 89. 89 plus 55 is 144. So, pang ilan na ba ito? Bilangan natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, therefore, the 12th term of the Fibonacci sequence is 144. Okay, next problem we have... If f sub 10 equals 55 and f sub 12 equals 144, then what is f sub 11? So, balik muna tayo dito sa, sa Fibonacci sequence na 1, 1, uh, 2, 3, 5, 8, and so on. Aralin natin mabuti yung behavior ng kanilang pattern. So, kung titingnan mo, nakuha yung 8 dahil in natin yung 5 and 3. Sa kabilang side, yung 5 naman, yung 5, nakuha natin dahil in natin yung 3 and 2. So, kung titingnan mo, ang 8 natin is pang 6 siya. Ano yung inad natin? Inad natin yung pang lima at saka yung pang apat. Dito naman, yung five natin is pang lima, F sub 5. Yung 3 natin is F sub 4. At yung 2 natin is F sub 3. May makikita naman kayong pattern dito. So, 6, 5, 4, then 5, 4, 3. So, balik tayo doon sa problem kanina. Ang given dito ay... So, F sub 12, F sub 10, 
and F sub 11. Ito yung mga involved na terms. So, makakabuo na tayo ng equation dito according doon sa behavior ng Fibonacci sequence ng, na binigay ko kanina. So, ano yung mabubuo natin? Of course, descending order naman siya. So, F sub 12 equals to F sub 11 plus F sub 10. I-substitute na natin. May given kasing F sub 12 na 144. Meron bang given na F sub 11? Wala. So, we will just remain this as, as F sub 11. May F sub 10 ba? Meron. That is 55. So, to find F sub 11, we have to eliminate 55. So, we can do that by subtracting it by 55. At para balance, we will just subtract this also by 55. So, makakancel ngayon to. Matitira is F sub 11. And 144 minus 55 is 89. Therefore, our F sub 11 equals to 89. Okay. Ne okay, next problem. The end term of Fibonacci sequence. In the Fibonacci sequence 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, and so on, find the 100 term. So, in this case, gagamitan na natin siya ng formula or yung, or yung tinatawag na Binet's formula. So, to find the 100 term, to use this formula, ang gagawin lang natin, so, gamit tayo ng color black. So, gagawin natin yung formula na to to find the F sub 100. So, papalitan lang natin yung N ng 100. So, multiply by 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2 raised to 100. Okay. Minus 1 over square root of 5 multiply by 1 minus square root of 5 all over 2 raised to 100. So, itong formula na ito ang makakapagbigay sa atin ng value ng 100 terms sa Fibonacci sequence na 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, and so on. So, I will use a calculator to find the answer. Okay, so andito na tayo sa n term of Fibonacci sequence. So, i-recall natin na ang first term ay 1, second term is 1, third term we will just add magiging 2, 4th term, 1 plus 2 is 3. 5th term, 2 plus 3 is 5. 6th term is 3 plus 5 is 8. And so on. So, meron tayong formula to find the n term of the Fibonacci sequence which is F sub n equals to 1 over square root of 5 multiplied by 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2 raised to n minus 1 over square root of 5 multiplied by 1 minus square root of 5 all over 2 raised to n. So, i-check natin kung tama yung ating formula. By the way, ang formula na to ay tinatawag nilang Binet's or Binet's formula. So, i-check natin kung okay or kung gumagana itong ating Binet's formula. So, alam naman natin that this is F sub 1, F sub 2, F sub 3, F sub 4, F sub 5, and F sub 6. I-check natin when n is equal to 4. When n is equal to 4, dapat ang lalabas na F sub 4 natin is 3. Okay, check natin. So, gamit ang formula, we have F sub 4 equals to 1 over square root of 5 multiplied by 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2 raised to, papalitan to ng 4, minus 1 over square root of 5 multiplied by 1 minus square root of 5 all over 2 raised to, papalitan siya ng 4. So, gamit ang ating calculator, iti-check natin kung talagang tama na ang F sub 4 is 3, gamit ang formula. So, gawin na natin. So, buksan natin ang calculator. So, meron tayo rito eto 1 over square root of 5 fraction siya so 1 over square root of 5 multiply by 
This is fraction again. So, 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2. Then, may exponent siya na 4. Then, minus fraction 1 over square root of 5 multiplied by so, 1 minus oops, may fraction pala siya. So, 1 minus square root of 5 all over 2 may exponent siya na 4. So, dapat ang nalabas dito is 3. Kapag naging 3, ibig sabihin, nagwa-work ang Binet's formula. So, kung titingnan nyo, ayun ay 3. So, therefore, nagwa-work yung ating Binet's formula. So, isa pa, i-check pa ulit natin when n is equal to 6 naman. So, when n is equal to 6, dapat ang lumabas na f sub 6 natin ay 8. So, gamit ang formula ulit, papalitan naman natin to lahat ng 8, anang 6. Papalitan naman natin siya ng 6. So, f sub 6 equals to 1 over square root of 5 multiplied by 1 square root of 5 all over 2 raised to 6 minus 1 over square root of 5 multiplied by 1 minus square root of 5 all over 2 raised to 6. So, gamit ang calculator ulit, so, papalitan lang natin ito ng 6. Yung isa rin, papalitan rin natin siya ng 6. So, itatapat lang natin yung pointer na yun. So, ayan. So, dapat ang lalabas na f sub 6 is 8. Okay, so 8. So, ibig sabihin, tama yung ating Binet's formula. So, hanapin na natin ang pang 100 term or where n is equal to 100 ano kaya ang ating f sub 100 hindi pa natin alam ilagay na natin sa formula n equals 100 so f sub 100 equals to 1 over square root of 5 multiply by 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2 raised to 100 minus 1 over square root of 5 times 1 minus square root of 5 all over 2 raised to 100 so, using the calculator again, papalitan lang natin yung mga exponent na 100. Ito rin, papalitan natin to ng 100. So, depende kasi sa calculator kung paano nyo ito i-input. So, kailangan mapag-aralan nyo yung mabuti. So, equals, naging scientific notation siya. So, ipakita natin, ganito. So, F sub 100 is equal to 3.542284882 times 10 raised to 20. So, ganun siya. So, ito siya. So, since meron siyang times 10 raised to 20, imove lang natin yung decimal point ng 20 times. So, ang mangyayari dito, magiging 3542248482 then 1234567891011121314151678 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, lagyan na lang natin ng comma for separation for every 3 digits 1, 2, 3 ito na yung ating F sub 100 ok, so that's all thank you